Hello, sport fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Orlando Magic are very active. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The Orlando Magic have made it very clear. From the standpoint of having early trade negotiation talks with the Chicago Bulls and Zach Levine, to possibly bringing Klay Thompson in, to possibly even trying to go after Paul George, they've been very clear. The most they're going to probably give one of the biggest stars in the offseason is probably two years. When you think about some of the younger, talented rosters in the NBA, they're not wanting to overpay or overtax themselves when they don't have to. When you think of them having Wendell Carter, when you think of them having Jalen Suggs, when you think of them having uh, Benchero as their centerpiece, they have uh, Cole Anthony to name more. They have an uh, interesting off season because they're not looking to rebuild. They're looking to just add more solid pieces to help them become a title contender. When you think of different positions, they have all positions all over. They don't have the set piece that's going to put them to the next level. When you saw them take the Cavs to seven games, they're a new young team and they took one of the better teams in the East to seven games. So essentially they don't have a lot of holes on a team. When you think of adding a Zach Levine or you think of adding a, a Paul George, these are solidified pieces that are NBA vets that can push them to the next level to get them to the point where they're winning their first round series, their second round series. So I consider them a little ahead of the game as far as their productivity and where they are. They were able to get a couple of good wins last year against great teams. They went 47 and 35, finishing number one in their division in the standings. And you think about overall, when they have to play the Miami Heat, the Atlanta Hawks, the Charlotte Hornets, and the Washington uh, Wizards, they have a foot up on everybody because of the way that they played last season, the way that they closed last season, and this team has a lot to build on. When you think about winning it back-to-back, -back, I can see this team winning this division again. From the standpoint, it, what would a Paul George do to this group? Would Paul George push them through to the NBA Finals? Possibly not. But what he will do is show them how to be a professional, how to prepare for games, how to do things. Same thing for Zach Levine. So I think even if you're looking at adding a Klay Thompson, he wouldn't be getting nothing but two years. So I think the Orlando Magic are smart. They found what they're going to spend. Even though they have a big amount of money that they can spend in free agency, they're not looking to go broke spending it. They're not looking to be in a luxury tax spending millions of dollars. They're looking to get solid pieces and make the moves make sense. They're not just looking to add all these guys on the team and all of a sudden your young uh, talent doesn't grow. So from the standpoint, I think the Orlando Magic, Orlando Magic are smart. They're getting ahead of the game. They're, they're queltering expectations and letting teams know, hey, we're not taking on trades unless it's a viable contract or we're getting draft picks from it. Hey, if we're not getting a lot of draft picks or we're not getting the best out of this trade, we're not going to do it. And that's what I think that's going to save them this offseason. Shout out to the Orlando Magic for being smart because a lot of people have them projected to do so many different things that don't make sense. So I don't believe bringing the James Harden to this roster is going to matter. I don't think some of these moves matter, but if you can get a Paul George, if you can somehow get a LeBron, to help guide these guys, to bring these guys in, to build them up, show them how to be professionals, that's going to bode well for this organization. So I think Zach Levine could end up there. I think Paul George could end up there. Solid playmakers, solid decision-making, solid basketball players. So what do you think about the Orlando Magic's ideas, with them telling Clay Thompson and other people that they're only giving two-year deals? What do you think about the take-it-or-leave-it mentality? And what are your projections for the Orlando Magic for the next couple seasons? Is this a team on the rise that we should be looking out for on the East? Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus for all the breakdowns and all the updates, and we'll see you on the very next video.